Alrighty, folks. How is everyone doing this morning? Hello, hello. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome to Adobe Live. My name is Voodoo Val, and I am going to be your instructor for this morning's Photoshop Daily Creative Challenge. I hope everyone is doing well. I hope everybody's ready to rock, ready to jump into Photoshop and do some cool stuff. Fairy, hello. Biola, hello. Stony, uh, Macchio, Andreas, Steve, Festus, Casaboom. Hey Sam, it's good to see all of you folks this morning. Um, if you're wondering who I'm greeting because you're in the YouTube chat and you cannot see anybody that I'm saying hello to, it is because I am reading the chat over on behance.net slash live. So please come over here because that is where I will see your comments. That is where um, all of the mods will be posting all of the helpful resources and links and things that you need in order to participate today. Um, and overall, it's it's where the party's happening um, on all of the days that we are live. So, so please come over to behance.net slash live. Um, Voodoo Val and a bunch of others came up as fairy in my chat. That's weird. I am not fairy. Um, I, no, I'm definitely Voodoo Val. Fairy is a lovely human, but it's not me. <laughs> Tracy, it's good to see you. Jeffrey, hello. Um, all right, so I'm going to jump into um, the landing page and show you folks um, sort of how you can get involved um, with me and jump into the challenge where you can get all your resources and stuff and um, all that all that goodness. Um, and then we're going to jump into the Discord and check out everything that people have created because there's some wicked uh, doors happening, um, on, on this challenge page. And it's, it's actually really, really cool. And I've got some folks that I'd really like to highlight and, and all that good stuff. So, um, if you would like to dive into the challenge with me, all you have to do is go over to the landing page, which is on behance.net slash challenge slash Photoshop. And it looks like this. Okay. Um, you'll know you're in the right place because it will say uh, April 26th through May 21st. If you get here to this page and there is a different date, it means that you are watching my video, but another challenge has already begun. Um, and that's okay because if you'd still like to do the challenge for this video, all you have to do is scroll down to all of the archive challenges and find um, the April to May challenge and you will um, you'll be able to still kind of watch all the videos you'll be able to click the get started button and grab all of the resources so they will still be there for you um, you can also have like a little one through four um, instruction on how to um, how to participate in this um, and uh, right here is where all of the challenges are going to be uh, revealed to you. So um, for the challenges thus far, we've done one on shapes and gradients. We've done one on perspective transform. We've done one on creating a glow effect. And today we're going to be um, uh, texturing, like doing custom textures on um, items flat designed items, making them look 3D um, using smart objects and filters, which I'm actually pretty excited about. Um, Tracy is talking about Mike Wazowski from Monsters, Inc. I love Mike Wazowski. I think he's a total mood um, and I, th I think he's great. Um, Ooh, let me make sure I'm not missing anything. When highlighting the door knocker, do you find it easier to use a pen instead of a mouse? I do find it easier to use a pen, like a stylus, because I am predominantly an illustrator and that's what I'm more used to using. However, if you do not have a stylus, I suggest doing the same thing with a mouse, but turning the smoothing on um, for the mouse or for the brush tool while you're using a mouse, because that will allow you to mimic the smoothness of um, a brush stroke with the mouse that you might get if you were um, using a stylus. So definitely try that out. Um, okay, so uh, last thing is I wanna jump into the Discord, as I said. So yesterday's challenge, we took this picture of a door and we um, made it basically like blooming light into this dark room. Um, and it's really cool because so many people kind of went their own way with this and I love it. Um, AKA Optimistic says, I may have gone of course, off course, but had fun. Um, and I think this is really cool. We had um, Andrew do 
like this like rainbow coming in from like a galaxy just like you know blurring into the room which is really cool um Rhea did um basically the blur effect that i did but experimented with some really interesting colors which i thought was super cool i think it gives like more to the scene because it looks like you know makes me wonder what's on the other side of the door um, challenge three, uh, Kiran Preet, uh, actually went a totally different direction and did like a glow around these dice in a, in a hand, which is cool. Um, Key did this glow effect. We've had the, um, the Doctor Who, uh, teleporter in the background here, which I think is great. I just thought that was super cool. So well done. Um, Sean says playing around with the challenge and went my own way. So we actually have like an eyeball that Sean has created, which is really cool. I love you guys kind of doing your own stuff. Um, uh, Phil has got a baby kind of walking into this room, which is, I guess, more of like a realistic scene, which is kind of cool. Um, Petra has a ghost coming through the door. Uh, there are just like so many of these in here that just look so cool. Um, it's been really fun to kind of go through and and look at like, oh my gosh, this is neat. Um, to kind of look at everything that people started doing um, and how people kind of went off on their own tangents. Um, this is awesome too. So this is the Mike Wazowski Trexy was talking about. I soften the light falling on the smooth planes of the sphere body and made more color pop out. Also adjusted the shadow of the feet. So you, you are very helpful, thanks. Um, this is sick. This is so cool. <laughs> I like want this to be my desktop background. I do. I really truly do because I love Mike Wazowski and I think this is great because he's just standing there and it's like what is he looking at? Where is he coming from? What is he looking at? And why does he look so horrified? I love it. Yeah, these are really cool guys. Um, I, I wish that I had the time to like go through each and every one of them on stream, uh, but I don't. Uh, this is really cool. Also, gigantic shout out to uh, Sam Peterson, who went through and started helping everyone out with their perspective, who's been posting guides to guide people through the perspective challenges. This is amazing. Sam, you are an absolute boss. Um, thank you very much. We could get like some, some emotes in the chat, um, some love for Sam Peterson. That would be amazing. Um, if you folks would do that because he's a pretty cool guy. He's a pretty dope dude. Um, all right, let's jump into today's challenge. Okay. So we are going to be, um, creating like a 3d, um, gold leaf texture on this trophy thing. Now I just, I just created something with shapes that um, you folks could use like something intricate. Um, and I am going to go through how I made this. Uh, I've been actually having a lot of fun with ways to use shapes and mask shapes and then convert to smart objects. Um, so that I can like create these cool like icons or very simple illustrations. And they're not perfect, but it's actually been really fun for me. So I've converted this goblet thing. It looks like a trophy, but I called it a goblet to be fancy. Um, I've converted this into a smart object for you in here. Um, but if you actually, I think if we just double click it, yeah, if we double click it, it'll pull it into its own file. Um, and if I open that group, you can see all of my layers here. The entire way that I created this, basically, um, I have got here the, um, uh, the, the shapes, how I've masked them, everything that I did to kind of go through here is right there. So I, I just wanted to point that out, that it's there. If you folks want to actually change what this looks like and do something a little bit different than I did, you are more than welcome to jump in there and start moving the shapes and, and stuff around. You can remove the masks if you want to from some of the shapes that I've done. You can do whatever you want. Um, it's really up to you because it's your project or you can start from scratch and create your own um, shape. Like for example, why don't you guys call out something in chat, something like a simple shape of, of some sort of item that will look cool cast in gold and maybe I can make it. Um, we'll do a little bit of chat interaction here. Um, some Harry Potter mood with the goblet. Yes, it is. You could do, ooh, you could literally do like a blue, like 
instead of like gold gold leaf you could do like blue gold leaf and make it like the goblet of fire you could totally do that um so i'm thinking i'm thinking i'm gonna i'm gonna make you know another item the one ring we did already do a ring and i don't want to do i don't want to do um too much as far as um like the same shapes a tooth that's actually kind of cool a goat that is very detailed um a golden finger a pyramid how is it no streamer said happy birthday to tim today today is tim's birthday why did no one warn me that it's tim's birthday i would have dressed up or a Whoopi Goldberg. We are not doing a portrait of Whoopi Goldberg this morning. I was thinking something along the lines of like a rubber duck, something simple, guys. Um, so I don't know if we are <laughs> gonna do a portrait of Whoopi Goldberg, but um, I appreciate the uh, the ideas. So I'm I might I might just make myself a a rubber duck. Um, let me see if I can rub ah, ducks are ducks are actually more yellow than this I think let's see let's do it like like that yeah okay um, so basically what I do is I I just um, build out the basic shapes that I want and then I will like connect them into each other or like this is actually maybe we'll do the rubber duck like this um, and then like underneath here, I will press P to snag the pin tool and I will kind of give us a little beak. We put it down like that. Let's rotate it like so. Um, and I am going to say, make a shape. Boom. Um, that is perfect. I didn't really mean for it to do the little beak light or the little beak color like that But it actually looks good. And then I will Do a simple tail. Okay. All right um, And then I'm going to press shape on this one too and I'm, I am gonna make this yellow because this definitely needs to be yellow But I'm gonna bring it I'm gonna rotate it and bring it out like that. And then let's see on this shape, let's jump in here and let's turn this to yellow. All right, so we have, you know, like a little a little shape here and then I'm gonna grab it all and say convert to smart object. And then I have like this smart object and it's really easy to kind of like, obviously I would clean it up a little bit. It's really easy to do this. Um, but you know, that's how I would just make something, you know, to, to, to do something um, and I, I don't worry about how I'm making it I just go for it and then tweak it later so you don't have to be super precious with it um, but then what I do is I make sure I have my um, uh, a, like a new layer set on clipping mask which I'm gonna turn this to a clipping mask um, and then I make sure that I have my um, my texture so I've given you like a like a like a texture here it's a gold texture um, that you will be able to um, kind of download and use as like gold leafing um, and this is what it looks like I'm gonna snag it right here if you want you can also go and find other gold leafing items if I can actually grab this oh I have to deselect off of here. Um, you can go and find other gold um, stock images. There are more gold stock images in um, the free version of Adobe Stock um, in the free space. Um, so just, you know, letting you know that there is something there um, that you can also grab. If this one is not suitable to you, that is totally fine, but that's the one I'm going to use. Um, and what I'm going to do is I am going to actually, I'm going to use my mouse um, to grab my brush tool on a soft run brush and before I gold leaf this I am actually going to uh, put in some soft shadows um, and things so I'm gonna come over here to like this dark brown color and I am going to hold shift and drag um, my brush down just to kind of start making this look a little bit 3d um, I'm going to kind of do a little line here to make this look a little um, a little softer. Oops, I need a soft round brush there. I'm using also a race just to kind of 
um, make things look a little a little more um, soft in certain places um, and yeah let's see let me turn my opacity down pressing four on my keyboard just to just to kind of do that I'm gonna add a little bit here um, it's not super fancy um, and of course it could be done a little bit cleaner but I do want to add um, a little bit of um, of shade to this um, I'm also going to turn the smoothing up like I mentioned earlier uh, because if I turn the smoothing up then ooh okay I want to zoom in on this if you're using a mouse and you turn the smoothing on on your brush tool look I am using my mouse right now and I'm getting like these smooth arcs down the side of my um, of my image here uh, and it almost looks as like it's accurate enough to be like I you know I came in and drew this with a stylus okay um, so if you were wondering like how you can achieve kind of a smoother um, stroke but you don't have a stylus that is how you could do it um, and the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my brush small and I'm gonna drag a line across here anytime I make a straight line I am holding shift while I drag just to give it a little you know um, and then I'll make another layer and um, another clipping mask and I am going to do the same kind of a similar thing that I just did but I'm going to grab a brighter color okay um, and I am going to throw some right here um, and then I'm going to kind of oops I'm gonna kind of draw like a straight line and then I'm, oh, let's see, I can curve it. I'm using my mouse, I'm curving it, but I think it needs to come straight here. And then once I get here, then I will curve it. Okay. It's a little bit, mm, let me see what I can do for this. I'm gonna turn it on a lower opacity. And then, okay. So what I did was I held, I'm holding shift to draw that straight line and then I stop a release shift and then I continue down in like a curved manner um, and that seems to work. Um, I'm going to put some light here, I'm going to put some light right here, just kind of give it like a little shine. Um, I might also make my brush smaller and do like another kind of... another kind of thing like this and I would I would spend more time cleaning this up but I don't it's not it's not really that big a deal I just really want like some sort of um, let me turn this on an even lower opacity I just want some sort of something that makes this look a little bit 3d so I'm not like placing textures on something that's completely flat um, I'll actually just leave it like that because I think that you folks get the idea so that gives me like this you know this look um, that this is now um, uh, a little bit more than it was before for example if I group all of this um, and I hide it then it goes from from being a flat image to being something that looks a little bit more substantial um, and then I can snag my gold texture and I'm just gonna drag it over and hover over this um, if you go to drag something from one file to another I want to make something really clear because some people have an issue where they can't do that um, so number one if you're going to drag it over you need to make sure that you have not hit f and you are not in one of the other views of photoshop so if i hit f on, on my keyboard right now um, it sends me into this um, secondary mode where i can drag things around even if i'm like zoomed out and can see everything on my canvas but one thing it also does is by default it will hide the titles of all of your other files that are open um, and if you hit F on the keyboard again if you know your hotkeys which I you know I try to keep um, a good mental catalog of all of the shortcuts and hotkeys because sometimes I paint and I go into this mode where I don't see anything um, and I can paint and then you can hover over here um, and this will pop out if you hover your cursor on the side and stuff like that which is cool uh, but in this first mode this is where you need to be to to see your um, your files um, and you drag up and you hover it over the title of the file you would like to put it into and then bring it in and drop it um, so if you have ever had issues with that that's how you resolve it um, now i'm going to put this first texture on a clipping mask and i am going to transform it because it is massive i'm going to rotate it and i'm going to come in and i'm going to kind of line up 
the darker side of this gold texture with the darker side of my trophy goblet thing here. And then I am going to find a blending mode to put it down on. Um, and I think, honestly, that looks cool, but that's a little, mm, maybe this one. Um, overlay is cool, but it's a little drastic. However, something that I could also do is I could put it on a drastic one and then um, create a mask and start to fade it out. Um, but I do actually want to just go through all of them and see if I find something that I prefer. Um, and I think, I think, um, soft light is the way to go for this one. Um, now I could do something like this. Um, if I, if I decided that I, you know, I start overlaying this texture and I start laying over, um, uh, we could even grab another, um, another texture if we want to like combine multiple textures. So I'm in the free version, um, the free area of Adobe stock. You can see I have um, Adobe stock up and in that little drop down next to the search bar, it says free and I can type in gold texture. Um, I, I highly uh, recommend that all of you folks um, explore this if you have not already and you've been using the um, the gold stuff that I have been uh, giving to you via the um, via the files that I provide. That is cool, but I think that you should all go check out the free version of Adobe Stock if you have not already, because it's actually really amazing. It's actually really fantastic. Um, so I just grabbed two more that I have licensed. Um, and I can drag in here. So this one is kind of interesting. And then I also liked this one um, for like the leaving uh, kind of thing. Um, and what I can do is let's throw, let's throw this one on because this one's like kind of cool. We can do a clipping mask on that. Uh, we can rotate this and kind of follow the shadow. There's like dark shadows on this side and um, kind of lighter stuff on that side. Let's see what happens with this. Um, we, we don't have very much time left, but I would like to experiment um, just because I think this is really cool. Um, let's kind of push this up like so. Let's get this going in there. Um, okay, let us throw this on a blending mode, shall we? Let's see what happens. I think it's actually like pretty harsh for um, what I'm going for here, but something that we can do, like I said, is throw a mask on it. So I'm gonna hit the mask button right there and I'm gonna come over to this mask with a, with B, with a soft round brush, and I'm gonna start like painting out some of the massive um, chunks, I think, in this. Um, and what you can do is you can start building on to um, I couldn't even turn the fill down on this. You can start building on and stacking up um, textures on items until things start to look a little more natural. Um, and let me see if I can, I'm gonna also erase from right here. I'm gonna bump that down and I think I might actually turn, um, turn that down a little bit more. Um, and then I'm gonna grab this texture. I'll put that on a clipping mask as well. Um, and then how large is this? Let's rotate this around. I'm gonna right click and flip this horizontal and bring that in. Let's see what happens if we layer this one on as well. I kind of want to find one that is bright um, and then mask out the brightness. So let's leave it on screen. Let's throw a mask on that. And then I'm actually gonna mask here and see if we can't um, start bringing in like a like a shine. Um, and I'm also going to, I think, kind of follow the grooves that I have created like with my shadows a little bit, um, just to kind of only have it hit those places where I really want like bright light um, and then see what that does. Um, and obviously, um, as is usual with some of these challenges, like we don't have enough time to finish it on stream um, where I can only show you the basic concept and I'm running out of time. Um, but you guys can see how you can take a flat image and very easily start to make it look a little bit more substantial. So I'd love to see what kind of items you folks choose. You can choose my item. You can choose something that you make yourself with the little pen tool uh, thing that I showed, the little pen tool, um, uh, 
tutorial I did at the very beginning. Um, and please post your challenge entries into the Photoshop Discord because I really want to see them. Uh, but aside from that, um, it is time for me to take off because I do not want to get cut off, but you guys are all wonderful. Uh, I will see you folks Monday at 9 a.m. Um, and until then, I can't wait to see what you create, what you come up with, and I will see you folks later. Happy designing, everyone.